Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going on an adventure to one of the coolest places on Earth, Yellowstone National Park. It's famous for its amazing hot springs and geysers like Old Faithful that shoot hot water way up into the air. But what if I told you that something even more incredible is happening deep, deep beneath the ground? Scientists have just found something super exciting and we're going to explore it together. Imagine Yellowstone is like a giant pot of soup simmering on a stove. On the surface you see steam and bubbles, which are like the geysers and hot springs. But the real action, the heat source, is hidden deep below. For a long time, scientists knew there was a massive supervolcano under Yellowstone, a huge chamber of hot melted rock called magma. Think of it as the planet's own underground furnace. They knew this magma chamber was there, but they thought it was kind of like a sleeping giant not doing much. They believed the hot rock was mostly solid, like a giant warm rock cake with little pockets of melty, gooey magma here and there. But a new discovery has completely changed that picture, and it's pretty mind-blowing. So, how did they figure this out? Well, scientists can't just drill a hole all the way down to see what's happening. It's way too hot and way too deep. Instead, they use something called seismic waves. Imagine you drop a rock into a pond. You see ripples, right? Seismic waves are like ripples that travel through the Earth. These waves are created by tiny earthquakes that happen all the time, or sometimes scientists create them with special equipment. These waves travel differently through different materials. They move fast through solid, hard rock, but they slow down when they go through something soft and squishy, like hot, melty magma. It's like trying to run on a paved road versus running through a muddy field. You'll be much slower in the mud. A team of scientists set up thousands of special sensors, called seismographs, all around Yellowstone. These sensors are like super-sensitive ears pressed to the ground, listening for these seismic waves. For years, they listened and recorded how fast these waves traveled from one side of the park to the other, deep beneath the surface. When they looked at all the data, they noticed something strange. In a huge area of the magma chamber, the waves were moving much, much slower than they expected. This wasn't just a small muddy puddle, it was like a giant gooey swamp of rock. This told them that the magma chamber wasn't mostly solid rock with a little bit of melt. Instead, it seems to be more like a giant slushy sponge. Picture a sponge that's been soaked in water. It's still a sponge, but it's filled with liquid. The Yellowstone magma chamber is like that, but instead of a sponge and water, it's a crystal-rich mush filled with liquid magma. The new research suggests that this mush contains way more liquid rock than anyone thought before, maybe as much as 16 to 20 percent liquid. That might not sound like a lot, but for a giant volcano, that's a huge amount of melted rock. So what does this all mean? Does it mean Yellowstone is about to erupt? Hold on, don't pack your bags just yet. Scientists are very clear about this. This discovery does not mean the supervolcano is getting ready to blow. An eruption is still extremely, extremely unlikely anytime soon. We're talking thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of years, before anything like that could happen. Think of it this way. Just because you find out the soup on the stove is hotter than you thought, it doesn't mean the pot is about to boil over and explode. The lid is still firmly on. There are lots of other signs scientists would look for before an eruption, like the ground swelling up in a major way, a huge increase in earthquakes, and massive changes in the gases coming out of the ground. And right now, none of that is happening. Yellowstone is being watched 24-7 by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, and all the signals show that it's behaving normally. So why is this discovery so important if it's not about an impending eruption? Well, it completely changes our understanding of how giant volcanoes like Yellowstone work. It's like finding a new chapter in a textbook you thought you had already finished. This magma mush helps explain all the amazing things we see on the surface. All that heat and liquid rock deep down is what powers everything in the park. It's the engine that heats up the groundwater to create Old Faithful and the other 10,000 hydrothermal features in Yellowstone. This new understanding helps scientists create better models of what's happening underground. It's like having a more accurate map of the volcano's plumbing system. This knowledge is crucial. The more we understand about how these systems work when they are calm, the better we'll be at spotting any changes that might signal future trouble, even if that trouble is thousands of years away. It helps us understand the life cycle of a supervolcano. 
This discovery also tells us something really cool about our planet. Earth is a living, breathing world, and it's constantly changing, even in ways we can't see. Deep beneath our feet, there are incredible processes happening that shape the world we live on. The ground under Yellowstone isn't silent or dead. It's a dynamic, active, and fascinating place. So the next time you see a picture of Old Faithful shooting its plume of steam into the sky, you can think about what's happening miles below. You can imagine that giant slushy sponge of magma and crystals slowly churning and providing the heat for that spectacular show. It's a powerful reminder that there's always more to discover and that science is a journey of constant exploration. This is a perfect example of how science works. We have a theory, we gather data, and sometimes the data shows us something completely new and forces us to rethink everything. It's not about having all the answers, but about asking better questions and getting closer to the truth, one seismic wave at a time. The scientists who worked on this have given us a brand new window into the heart of a volcano, and it's a view that is more active and dynamic than we ever imagined. What an incredible story, right? A silent giant under Yellowstone is way more active than we knew. It just goes to show you that there are always new mysteries to solve right here on our own planet. What do you think is the coolest thing about this discovery? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me on this deep dive into the Yellowstone supervolcano. If you enjoyed learning about this amazing science, don't forget to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss our next adventure. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next video.